Clearly, if you look at the radio technology, is the, all of the current uh, suppliers have not really innovated as dramatically as the opportunity exists. So what, what our goal was to really put intelligence right at the radio head. And so our goal is to take this intelligence and improve the efficiency of the radio. Now, the moment you put any intelligence in any location, there is a need for more processing power, memory, and I.O. bandwidth. Uh, that really drove us to try to virtualize the radio, where it's very easy to add intelligence uh, in using commercial off-the-shelf hardware. So that, that really was the essence of Altiostar, is to take non-intelligent radio, make them intelligent, and improve the efficiency of the radio, and that drove us into creating a virtual RAM. Uh, the key strength we have is really uh, bringing our uh, historical knowledge as to how intelligence, uh, where you can do deep packet inspection, really analyze every flow, and depending on the user and what the user is doing at any point in time, use that coupled with the condition of the radio network and, and adapt the data and, and affect the scheduler so that you can improve the efficiency of the radio. I think what drives us is really what I call the fire in the belly. A group of people who want to make a difference. Uh, we are really entering a space which is dominated by giants. And the only way to really succeed is to have something that is innovative, that can change the competitive uh, factors that, that carriers use to make their decision. I think the five words, number one would obviously be innovation. Second would be hyphenated value generation. Third would be quality. Fourth would be flexibility. And last would be agility. I mean, one of the things that we bring uh, into the market space, as I pointed out, is really innovation. But coupled with innovation is our ability to move very fast and meet our customer requirements. So we are, we are currently engaged with tier one operators around the world. Uh, there are two sets of problems we are trying to solve. One is how with the limited valuable spectrum they have, they are able to add capacity. So we use our intelligence to improve the, the utilization of the, of, of the radio resources. At the same time, we have a combination of macros and micros so they can build head nets and do, use densification to increase the capacity. If you look at our architecture where we have virtualized the RAM, we essentially are allowing the operators to use a 5G architecture for 4G deployments. So they're really getting ready for 5G with our virtualized architecture. Entirely different architecture to, to deploy the network where much, much more efficient use of the hardware resources and being able to use commercial off-the-shelf hardware that can scale using Moore's Law. Uh, so it allows the operators to add capacity at a, a greater and greater capacity at a lower and lower cost. The, the key is because of uh, the dramatic growth in video, uh, handset becoming smarter, and more and more applications coming up, running on the handset, that puts varying demands on the network. And the operators have to adapt to those demands, and the only way they can do it is to use software intelligence to adapt to those changing demands. And so our solution allows them to get most out of the most valuable resource, which is the spectrum. The first reaction is, uh, is disbelief. They don't believe that we can do what we do, which is creating a virtual RAN using Ethernet from the radio head to our, our VRAN architecture, because everybody has been conditioned that the only way you can create a cloud RAN is by using standard called SIPRI that requires dark fiber or dedicated wavelength. So the first reaction is disbelief. When we demonstrate to them that yes, we indeed can do it, the second reaction is, well, can you do all the LTE advanced features? And then we obviously then show them that, yes, we indeed can do LTE advanced features. 
We have worked with lots of tier one operators. We have done very extensive analysis for them. And we have demonstrated that using a variety of uh, uh, network designs and using the various cost factors of different operators, we are able to demonstrate that we can reduce the total cost of ownership to 50% using, compared with what they are doing today, which is a distributed RAM. So we can really dramatically reduce not only the CapEx, but also the OpEx. Well, I think it's been amazing uh, for, for many aspects. The, the fact that we were able to demonstrate not only that we can uh, build a VRAN using Ethernet front hall, but the fact that we can demonstrate some of the key LT advanced features like uplink comp and carrier aggregation is like an eye opener. Uh, they can now really believe that we can indeed deliver what we said our technology is capable of doing. Continue to get into the marketplace, uh, get as many accounts as we can, and at the same time, work with our customers to allow them to migrate to 5G uh, using our architecture as a foundation. I think in our case now, we already had the foundation to allow the operators to go to 5G. With our foundation, they'll be able to add a lot of value-added software that will allow them to solve many of the challenges that they will face with Internet of Things, where with a dramatic increase in the number of subscribers or endpoints, and also dramatic growth, continued growth in video.